Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today we are going to install Godot 4 in Ubuntu Linux and we're going to use Visual Studio Code as our editor and our debugger. To start by going here to godotengine.org, you click on download up here, then you go to download repository, you click on this guy, then go down to the bottom and click on 4.0 and find the latest beta in here, which is beta 17. Then go to the mono folder here and download the 64-bit version. Can I open this guy up? I'm gonna double click this guy. I'm gonna extract him to our home folder here. I'm gonna make a new folder called Go Dot. Click on Create and click Extract. Extraction completed successfully. Click on Close. We can go to our Go Dot folder here. And here, I'm gonna open this in the terminal. I'm gonna type in dot slash and go dot underscore and run this guy. And the reason I do this is so we can see that we don't have dot .NET installed here, so it's not going to work properly without it. So let's bring up the web browser, and you just Google dot .NET seven. You click on the first link that comes up. You click on Package Manager Instructions down here for Linux. Then you scroll down here to Ubuntu, and I'm using twenty two dot ten. So this is the guy I'm going to use. If you run this guy and then run this, it's not going to work properly. You want to use Ubuntu's version of the .NET SDK. I'm just going to copy these guys and bring up a terminal. Right click and paste and run this commands and type in your password when asked for. And while this is installing, we're going to go down here to troubleshooting. And this is where you want to go if you get problems. What really helped me was to run these commands right here because I had a mismatch between Microsoft's version of the SDK and what's coming shipped with Ubuntu. So this is the commands I ran and it worked fine. But you can read through the stuff in here if you have a different situation. I minimize this guy now. This has now been installed for the .NET SDK. And I'm gonna close down the Godot engine here and we're gonna run it again. And this time we don't get these errors here, as you can see. And here I'm just gonna click on cancel, new project, I'll call this test and we can put this in go dot new folder projects select current and create an edit for this guy click on new 2d scene here and rename this guy to main scene save scene click on create folder and I'll call this scenes and we can save this as main.tsc in here the next thing we will do before we continue in the editor is to install Visual Studio Code. And you will find this in the Ubuntu software. I'm going to open this guy up and you just search for VS Code in here. And it's the first guy at the top. You click on install here and enter your credentials. It is now installed. You can close this guy down. I'm going to start up VS Code. Once VS Code starts up, click here on Extensions and search for C Sharp. Install the first extension on the top here. As you can see, we have C Sharp's tools for Godot as well, but we cannot use this with 4.0 yet, so we're not going to install this guy now. All right, the C Sharp extension is now installed. We can now go back to the Godot editor. And here, we're going to right click the main node, click on Add Shell node, and we're going to add the Sprite 2D. And click on create. Right click the main node, click on attach script, make sure this is a C sharp script, and click on create. This will open Visual Studio Code for us. As you can see, it says there are unresolved dependencies. Please execute the restore command to continue. Just click here, and it says done here. And now you can see we have some nice squiggly lines here. So just press F1 and type in Omni and restart Omni Sharp if you get this problem. And this will remove the squiggly lines. In here, we can type in gd.print. As you can see, we now get IntelliSense. We say hello and save the file with Control S. So if we go back to the go.editor and click on play, it's going to say no main scene has ever been defined. Select one. So click on select current. And this is going to build the project and it's going to say hello. Next, we want to be able to debug the project. So click here on the script again. And go here and click on run and debug. And click on create a launch JSON file. And click on .NET 5 and .NET Core. Delete all these warnings. And in here, 
here we're going to plug in the path to our go.executable mine was located here like so so if you now click here on this guy up here play it's going to say that we couldn't find a task build file so click on configure task and click on create task json file from template then select dotnet core and all you have to do now is click here on the first guy then click on play and this will start the project but now we need to make it a bit more interesting so we can actually debug so go to main.cs and i'm going to paste this stuff in here so what we're going to do here is just basically grab the icon and then in the process we're going to move the icon with five pixels to the right and once we pass 1000 pixels we're going to reset the position back to zero comma 250 there so if we go back to the go.editor editor and drag in the icon here to the sprite put it somewhere like there and the transform for the y-axis with 250 all right let's save the main file let's minimize and we can put the debug point in here and click on play and now we're going to wait for it to reach a thousand pixels right there and we hit the debug point and we can press f10 okay this is how you run the debugger with the launch command i'm going to close this guy down you can also use the dotnet core attach approach so i'm going to click on this guy i'm going to bring up the go.editor I'm going to click on play. You need to have the program running in the background first. Going to minimize this guy. I'm going to make this a bit smaller so we can see what's going on. All right. And now you click on play here for the attach. And you get a list with all the things that are running. Here you type in go dot. So which one of these two is it? It's very simple. Find the highest number and click on that. So it's going to be the second one in the list for me. I click there. And now we wait for this to hit a thousand pixels. And there we are. So we can now debug this process. I'm gonna detach or disconnect rather. All right, guys. So this is how you set up Go.4, the C sharp version, with Visual Studio Code as your code editor and your debugger. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and see you in the next video. Bye for now.